Recently I have been using a lot of these windows cut into these sheet metal walls with just a single glass pane in them and I thought it would be useful if I created a tutorial breakdown on how to make these. So that's what you'll learn today, how to make windows like this. Start with a default cube, then we'll cut some windows in it. So just put an edge loop here, press Ctrl R, Ctrl R, and right here. Okay, we're going to make four windows right here. Select those, inset them all by pressing I, press I twice, and then you can inset them like this. Go in like that. Okay, now we need to bevel the windows, so select all of them, switch to vertex mode, so you just have those selected. Control B to bevel, and then press V to switch it to vertex. And bevel out to about here, you don't want the vertices to get too close together, cause weird stuff. And then scroll with the mouse to create the rounded corners. Okay, when you like how it looks, just click, and that's done. Now we have the window shapes, so we're going to extrude them into actual windows. To do that, simply select the windows and hit E and extrude them inward a bit. Okay, now we're going to make this look a little bit more interesting. So hit I again, and inset them a tiny bit, then hit E to extrude them inward very slightly, then press I to, extrude, uh, to inset to here, I again, but leave a bit of a wider part this time, I again, but make it a small distance again so that you have and here you can see you've got thin wide thin this wider band we're going to use to make a kind of a ring of insulation that always looks good on these okay next extrude these in for the final distance about to there okay and while you still have those selected you simply hit p to separate that into a new mesh so you got this mesh and this mesh okay. back in edit mode on the cube we need to extrude our insulation parts so Simply like that, 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 and that. And while we have these selected, it's a good time to assign a different material to them. So first I'm just going to assign a material to the entire cube. We'll just call it wall. And then in edit mode, I'm going to assign a material to those. Just the selected bits here, and we'll call this one insulation. I found that adding this little ring of insulation adds quite a bit of realism to the final window. Okay, now hit E and extrude this bit very slightly, like that. And then we need to bevel the edges of it, so we gotta select that edge loop, and that edge loop. Hold down Shift and Option to keep selecting edge loops. Okay, now hit Control B to bevel those for smoothness. All right, and next we're gonna add some thickness to the glass. So select the glass here, and go to side view, and wireframe. You can see it's perfectly thin. So just add a solidify modifier, and change the thickness so that it's got a little bit in that direction. Also move it so that it is not on the inside here, so it's actually in the frame. For the main material, I am just going to use orange, so I can see where it is. For the insulation, I will use a dark color, like black. So sometimes you can make this insulation a light color, like a yellow or something, that's just up to you. It does seem to be on, it might be on the wrong bit. Okay, not all of it appears to have. We're going to need to select some of these additional loops of faces and set our insulation material on those as well. Okay, much better. Okay, so we've got that, and this will look nicer in cycles, so I'm going to switch to cycles. Glass is more difficult in Eevee. And turn off the scene world, so you got an HDRI in the background. Alright, for the glass here, name this glass. You want to have a glass shader. Transparent. Mix them with a mix shader. And control that with a shadow ray. That way, if it's being 
That way, if it's shadows, it is fully transparent, but for everything else, it's glass. So, when you do that, if you're trying to do noising, you'll see your glass looks a lot nicer than just the plain glass shader. We can compare them here. Okay, that's how it looks. And then if it was just glass by itself, you see it's a lot darker from the shadow it's casting. So that way, when, it's be when shadows are being calculated, it's simply perfectly transparent, which gives you a much nicer looking glass. And that is it for the windows. I don't have much more to say on that. They're nice and realistic. Best when viewed from about this far away or further. Maybe not the best for super close-ups, but actually quite easy to model in terms of windows.